Hey, welcome back. This is episode number four of this tutorial series slash crash course on Ralph's Noetic. You can find the series playlist in the description. And let's get started. So now you have a Ross workspace, or also named Catkin workspace, where you will be able to write your own code. So are we gonna create our node directly inside the workspace? So in the source folder of our workspace, well, guess what? No. Inside the workspace, we will add some packages. And inside those packages, we will write our nodes. Okay, so for example, if you write a driver code for some wheels, you're gonna create a driver package. If you write another node for navigation, you're gonna create a navigation package. And then you can have different nodes for each package, which are gonna be organized basically by uh, functionalities. And so one package is going to be one subpart of your application. And so let's say for a robotic arm, you would have a package for motion planning for the arm, a package for the grasping, a package for the driver of the arm, another package for the driver of the gripper, or maybe for different grippers, another package to communicate with the outside, and then etc., etc. Here we're gonna create our first package and let's make this simple. So to create that, you go to the source folder of your Catkin workspace. As you can see here, we have a cmakelist.txt. So that's a link that was created uh, when we did Catkin make before. So you will uh, always have this. And now, well, you can see we don't have anything else. And to create a package, you're gonna do catkin underscore create package and you can use the auto completion here. So create pkg. You will need to give a name to your package. Let's call it my underscore robot underscore controller. So I'm going to create a package that we're going to use for the project of this crash course. And what we're going to do is simply we're going to control a robot. And the robot is going to be the turtle that you saw on the 2D uh, simulation we launched before. And so because the package is going to be something that controls a robot, I'm going to name it controller. And then what I usually do, so this is a quite useful convention, is that I use my robot. So here you will not use my robot if you create a custom robot, you will use the name of your robot. Okay, so if your robot is named ABC, that's going to be ABC controller. If you have a camera for the robot, you're going to name it ABC camera. Okay, ABC driver, ABC controller, ABC navigation, ABC motion planning, etc. Okay, so now you have a good system to name your packages. Okay, so cat can create package with the name of the package. That's not all. I'm gonna press space and now we're gonna add the dependencies. So a package is gonna communicate and need to use other packages. So basically nodes inside the package are gonna use nodes from other packages. And we need to provide the dependencies of those nodes and also the libraries we want to use. So here, I'm gonna first put ROSPY. What is ROSPY? This is simply a Python library that will allow you inside your Python code to get access to ROS functionalities. And I'm gonna come back to that when we write the node. So ROSPY. If you were to use C++ also, you could put ROS CPP. So that's very simple, ROSPY, ROS, CPP. But I'm not gonna put it because I'm just gonna stick with Python for this package. And then I'm also gonna put, so you can put all the dependency here, turtle sim, because we're gonna need to use the turtle sim package to control the turtle robot. And so because I use this package, I make sure that I have the dependency here, okay. So you can put your dependencies here and don't worry, you can add more dependencies later on. I'm just gonna show you that in a minute and then you can press enter. You can see here, created file, created folder, etc. successfully created files. So now if I do ls, let's do clear, actually ls, we have a new folder, my robot controller. Let's go inside my robot controller and we have different things. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come back here to the source folder of our Catkin workspace and I'm gonna open a text editor. Actually, I'm gonna open a complete IDE which is Visual Studio Code. 
So if you don't have Visual Studio Code on Ubuntu, you can do sudo snap and then install. That should be code and dash dash classic. So with this, you can install. Uh, let's try that. Okay, code is already installed because I've installed before. So inside our source folder here, you can do code and then dot to specify you want to start from this folder. Okay, and so you will get something like this. I've already put a bigger font here. And so get started. No, and we are in our source directory here of the Catkin workspace. So you have the cmakelist.txt here. And you have the package here, my robot controller. And you can see now we have a few things in that package. So you have a source folder that is empty for now. And then you have two files. You have a cmakelist.txt and a package.xml. So in the following of this tutorial series, we're gonna add more files here. I'm also gonna show you which extensions I use with Visual Studio Code so that it's easier to work with ROS, but I'm gonna show you that uh, just a bit later. So for now, let's focus on this. So when you create a package, this file here, package.xml, is the file you're gonna have for each package, okay? And then you have a cmakelist.txt, and if you were using C++ before, well, you certainly already know about cmakelist.txt. So this file will help you to create executables and compile code for C++. And with ROS, it's also gonna help you to create custom ROS messages. So messages are gonna be uh, stuff that you send between nodes. And well, you can do, as you can see, here you have many comments. You can do a lot of stuff. You can install files, you can do testing, you can build C++ files, etc. For this crash course, we will not need to worry that much about the cmakelist.txt. Okay, so that's gonna be it for now. You don't need really to worry about that. I'm just gonna explain a bit what is the package.xml that you have inside this my robot controller package and so you have many comments all right and what i'm gonna do first is i'm gonna do some cleaning i'm gonna remove this here i'm gonna remove that okay and then i'm gonna remove i'm gonna remove this and all of that and also this and that. So now it's a bit cleaner and more readable. It doesn't seem as scary as before. So what you will have inside a package.xml is first some information about the package. So uh, the name, which is uh, first that name here, you can add a version number, description, and then you can add a maintainer email and name, also an author email and name. Okay, so you can add this, for example, you could add it, so let's just put that here, maybe. And a license. So all those informations here don't really matter if you're just uh, starting with ROS, if you are just testing some code for yourself. But if you start to work with other people, or if you publish this package on the internet, well, you will need to fill that okay and maybe put an open source license so choose which kind of license you want to use etc put some uh, name for the author and then maybe update the list of maintenance so that people can easily reach to the maintenance so this is more like informational stuff this here is well basically so the build tool catkin all right and then dependencies for this package and as you can see we have raspi and turtle sim so because we have provided RASPI and TurtleSim when uh, we created the package, okay, in the terminal, those are gonna be added here automatically. And so if you want to add a new dependency, so if your package, my robot controller, depends on yet another package, later on, you will be able to add dependency right here. And that's what we're also going to do. And well, now I'm gonna save Control S and our package is, well, initialized. What we can do, I'm gonna close that. What we can do now is come back to our Catkin workspace and we are going to build Catkin make 
So this is quite a good practice is you create a new package and before you do anything, you build that package. Okay, as you can see now, we have some logs here traversing one package, my robot controller. So if you have many packages, it's going to go through all the packages, respecting the order of the dependencies you have put. Okay, and so here processing package, etc, etc. Everything is done. Well, you don't have anything in the package. So it's just going to find the package. Let's do clear here. And if you go to build, for example, ls you can see we have stuff related to my robot controller now okay so it's gonna kind of initialize the package and build it and then if you ever add some c++ code if you add some custom messages or stuff like that you will need to do catkin make again before you can use the package for python so when we write python node just in the following tutorial we will not need to compile uh, the package again because, well, Python is interpreted, so we will be able to directly start the Python node without going through catkin make again. Great, so now you have a catkin workspace, you have a ROS package with a dependency uh, with ROSPy, so we will be able to write our first Python node just in the next tutorial. All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full course named ROS for Beginners. This course contains 6 hours of content and will teach you everything you need to create complete ROS applications. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.